Hey, this is Matt from The Conscious Builder, and today we're going to look at this 400 square foot back addition we're putting on a 1950s one and a half story home. Two things we'll be talking about today is the process of demolition and construction throughout the project and how we're going to be transitioning from the original to the new envelope. So we're currently getting ready for drywall, so it's a really good opportunity for us to show you guys our weather barrier, our air barrier, and vapor barrier details. So as in all of our builds, we're always using our Adhero stick and peel. Our peel and sticks there. You can see all of our sills have our exo seal installed. That's a good way for us to protect the sills. The guys haven't done the taping detail yet to complete the air barrier to the windows. They'll be doing that prior to doing the insulation on the outside. So we started with the ICF. Once the ICF was built and we had our first floor system built, we then did started our demo on the, on the exterior veneer. Once we had the two floors built, we then breached the home. We had to do that because we had to redo the roof. The roof went from a normal gable to a shed roof. So we had to replace the ridge beam for the width of the addition, as well as install another beam because the nominal number isn't long enough. So we had to have two beams installed. So we'll take a look inside. We actually just finished another build like this last winter. The main difference between the two builds actually was this build we're actually doing an extension of the kitchen whereas the other build was more of an extension of the living area. The other build was actually a full energy retrofit whereas this one is just a partial energy retrofit. Feel free to check out the link above. So if you actually look up you can see the new 2x8 floor joists versus the old original 2x8 floor joists. Same on, on the ground, same idea, stairs came over really opens up the kitchen for the clients. As you walk into the kitchen, you can see we've removed the whole back wall of the building. Uh, to do so, we had to install a flush beam. In this case, it's a steel beam packed out on both ends. And then we just installed joist hangers to carry the original house and the new house. These are actually telepost point loads, and those point loads go right down to the original foundation. Since it's such a big opening, and it's actually quite the process to get it installed, we had quite a bit of manpower here. We did what we call a ladder, and we come up every two feet on each side. Uh, once it's installed, we do the pack out, we do our joist hangers, and then we carry our point loads all the way down to the foundation. The guys did a really good job. There's your cut sign. <laughs> When designing an addition, you always have two options, either a step down or a flush floor system. Because the clients wanted to enlarge the kitchen, in this case, we kept the floor systems the same. In the previous bill that we did, the client's needs were to have a living area, so we actually did the step down addition. The benefits of flush system is the basement now becomes a little more usable, whereas the last project, it really became just a storage place. Now there's a couple of guys that are working. Uh, what they're actually doing right now is they're installing the baffles. We're going to get the baffles installed uh, prior to getting our bone insulation in. Uh, the baffles are pretty much to allow air ventilation in the attic. But right here you can see the double LVL that we have that we we're talking about outside. It actually spans the whole width of the addition. You can see we have point loads right there. Right next to the point loads, you can tell we have two different types of vapor barriers slash air barriers. The six mil that you see with the rock sole is only being used as a vapor barrier because we have the adhero on the exterior of the home. The six mil is only a vapor. Whereas below you have the Intello. The Intello is actually installed on the original house and that because the house doesn't actually have an air barrier, we're treating that Intello Plus as an air and vapor barrier. You can see here we don't have an adjustable telepost. We actually have a uh, what they call a red jack. These are, these are pretty much rated to, to hold more load compared to a telepost. Now, when you come over here, we don't have a red jack and all we have is a four ply two by four post. That's because the span, so actual height from, from this point to the ridge is not as long compared to back there. The span is so long that the post could deflect. That's why we went with the MyTech red jack back there and just a standard four ply post over here. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you want to check out our last video, Framing a Net Zero Home, check out the link below. And lastly, a word from Casey. For the builders and contractors watching, we have some exciting news. Check out ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com where we are now offering not only our courses, but also great deals on courses from Blue House Energy. Courses like Building Science Basics, Construction Technology, Envelope Fundamentals, and Net Zero Energy for New Construction. 
With the courses through Blue House Energy, you can earn CPD and CEU credits, and you can also save 10% on these courses through our academy, contrabuilderacademy.com. Link is in the video description below. Until next time, I'm Casey Gray, and remember to live consciously.